Okay, welcome everybody out to our essential oil class tonight. The topic tonight is Douglas fir. Um, we're going to talk about um, Douglas fir essential oil, all the goods and bads about it. Um, I like this essential oil because, like, it's written here, Christmas tree in a bottle. I remember when this first came out, and they said there is an entire tree worth of essential oil in each bottle. So I thought that was pretty fantastic and amazing. Um, Jade Baldwin's going to share with us all about um, Douglas fir, and um, we have some amazing friends on here as well that um, we encourage everybody who's here to share with us uh, your stories and everything, and this would be a pretty cool um, topic, yeah. yeah, so Douglas fir. Yeah, thank you, Ben. I mean, uh, ben has really helped us with all the technical stuff, and I, I love teaching people about essential oils, but um, if it wasn't for Ben, I wouldn't know how to get the message out there, so thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so first of all, um, does everybody on this call know um, how Douglas fir smells like? Yeah, Debbie's got her Douglas fir. Does anybody? No. No? Who, who said no? Uh, Sue did. <laughs> Okay. okay, Sue, Douglas fir is still new to you, okay. It's a relatively new oil, yeah. it's only been out for Yeah, recently. it's only two years, I think, yeah. two years. Yep. Um, so everybody else smelt a D Douglas fir? Right. Yes. Um, anybody here not like it? <laughs> I think it's a pretty good smell. Oh, sorry, um, you'll have to unmute yourself, I can see. Debbie talking. <laughs> okay, let's unmute you. There, I've unmuted you. Okay. I wouldn't say that I don't like it, but it's probably not my favorite right now. Like, we need to become better friends. <laughs> right? <laughs> Anybody else? Who likes it? I like it, but I like everything, so. I love it, but I like all the tree oils. Ron said it smells like Alaska. Oh, <laughs> really? Pine trees. That's what it smells like, pine yeah, trees. It it's, it's very potent, though, to me. It smells like pine mixed with lemon. <laughs> yeah. You smell that lemon little zest in there? Yeah. Yeah. I can, I can sense that. Yeah. Well, we, our doTERRA Douglas fir is from New Zealand. It actually is a native. an amazing story. Yeah, yeah it's not native. Do you want to tell the story, honey? Um, I'll tell it so you can fill in. Okay, um, yeah. So Douglas fir is not native to us, uh, to New Zealand. Um, it was introduced, I, I don't know how it was introduced, but it started to grow and take over the environment and these trees were just coming up and over and over and it, it you know, it was just taking over yeah. everything and, and the, the land and everything. So it's actually kind of like a weed. weed there. But this grows um, four times as fast in New Zealand than other places. <laughs> and so in an effort to um, save the environment there, they are now harvesting all this Douglas fir. And they were thinking, you know, we've got to find something to do with all, all this um, and they were searching around for solutions because Douglas fir, you know, um, they, they were aware that it contains a fantastic essential oil. So they went to all these, uh, actually, went, they went to doTERRA um, and presented, you know, here's the problem. We have all this Douglas fir tree, um, trees we need to get rid of. And um, in the same process, they're able to make this uh, essential oil. So every time you're buying Douglas fir, you're also helping to save the environment. Yeah. A lot of times, you know, we think of as an essential oil um, it, that is powerful, is native to that area. It grows, like I said, it grows four times as fast, but it's not really native to that area. Yeah. But it's it's a fantastic oil and it, it has that really great, um, you know, story, yeah. ecological, you know, save the environment. Uh -huh. So two bangs for a buck. You're, yeah. you're helping out. <laughs> yeah. So if you go to New Zealand, you, you can drive and drive and drive and you still see greenery. Um, there's so much green in New Zealand and, you know, it's a shame to see um, the, the forest take up, being taken over by um, like a foreign 
invader, basically. Yeah. And it affects wildlife. Yeah. And it affects everything there in, the, in their forests. So. And um, the beauty of Douglas fir is that it's actually very therapeutic. So we could use it um, in lots of ways and it just funds the um, environmental um, work that they do in New Zealand. So that's awesome. I'm really excited about Douglas fir. So every time I use it, I think, yay, <laughs> you know, helping New Zealand, helping those people there. So that's it's really awesome. So if you think about it, Douglas fir is like a young version of other fir trees. Yep. Um, and so the emotion part is going to make sense to you. Okay. So think of, just remember that. Hmm. Yep. Did we'll you want to show the PDF or? Um, yes, let's okay. do that. Yep. So here's. Um, do you want to move it to the, a different? Yep. So I can see the other part too. Okay. Yep. Yep. So we're going to share this screen with everybody. So this is the PDF. Um, so I put down the top 10 uses of Douglas fir. Like most essential oils, it has a very powerful um, ability to uh, be um, to fight against environmental threats. And you can actually do some research on that because Douglas fir is um, relatively new. There's not a lot of research, um, but that you can find some. Okay, so I found a few. Uh, so, of course, add Douglas fir to your different immunity blends. I love um, changing it up a little bit because sometimes um, you want to help your, your immunity in a different way because your body is so used to using the same old blends. Um, just shake it up a little bit and uh, help you be more well-rounded, basically. It's not that your body is immune to the blend that you had already. It's sometimes that uh, it's done its job and you want to help your body in a different way. Okay, um, can you see that on the screen here? The very first thing is open airways. Can everybody see that okay? Yeah. Okay, awesome. Yes. Thank you. Um, so opening airways is uh, one of those things that uh, Douglas Fir is very good at. If you can mix a three drop, a three, it's a ratio of three to one. So Douglas Fir to eucalyptus to peppermint. Peppermint is very strong, so you only need a little bit of it. But if you want to try this at home, um, three drops of Douglas Fir two drops of eucalyptus and one drop of peppermint and you mix it together. You can put it to, um, mix it with fractionated coconut oil, rub it on the chest, the back and the bottom of your feet um, and just massage your hands if you want to because it's really good for the muscles and um, the joints too. But, uh, you know, it really helps open that airway, but it's a different kind of smell. Uh, so sort of um, uh, a different version of pine sol. <laughs> Yeah, every time I think of pine, so I think of saying it in a southern accent, so I have to stop myself. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so it's, it's beautiful that way. Um, so we do have our breathe blend and a few other different blends for respiratory, but uh, here is another option for you. Um, so Douglas fir, eucalyptus and peppermint. And like I said, we do it differently because sometimes the emotion behind why we are not well is different. Okay, um, and earlier I said that it's great for immunity. Um, so add it to your um, blends. If you uh, like to boost the immunity, rub the oils up and down your spine because your central nervous system will take the oils and you know spread it and share it um, to every part of your body. So things travel up and down your central nervous system because um, that's your energy meridian too. Um, and um, that's very helpful. Does anybody have an experience um, using Douglas fir? Like for um, opening your airways or breathing or, or what are your favorite uses of Douglas fir for those of you who have used it? Um, go ahead and unmute yourself guys. I just tried, I don't have it yet, but um, I tried it last time I was in Florida a few weeks back um, at my brother's house because I just felt like um, I was over there and there was something that was like bothering my airways 
And I didn't know if it was like, uh, we had walked his dog. I didn't know if it was outside or what, but he was just like, well, here, smell this. And then he was like, here, smell this one. And I was like, oh, Douglas fir. And he's like, oh, you don't, and I didn't smell the other ones. He just handed them to me. But then I smelled the Douglas fir and it just, um, I don't know, it made all like the congestion or whatever, just kind of, it kind of settled it. And I could like, um, I didn't feel like I was dying. <laughs> but, um, but I did like the way it smelled. And I did notice that it wasn't like, you know, the other, like, it wasn't like white fur. It wasn't like peppermint or anything. It smelled different than I expected it to, because like you said, it has the little, like a lemony smell. So I didn't really expect that. So I was like, oh, and he's like, I love it. <laughs> he's like, I diffuse it a lot. So. Yeah, that's awesome. Um, love it. So the other thing I found was it was excellent for um, animals. You know, it's, I feel like for animals, you have to get some um, outdoorsy, uh, non-human herb oils for them. <laughs> it's just somehow they're, they're they have more an affinity for that. And um, so Douglas fir, they found that it was great on animals. Um, they actually had it. But uh, you can rub it on. It's, probably, it's just as good to rub oils on because it goes into you through the pores. Um, and that helps the animals with their digestive health. So people, I have friends that are in the country in Australia. So are you guys listening to this? This is another option for you. We had some beautiful stories come back to us about people trying to just calm their animals um, when they're trying to get the animals to do certain things, you know, go to certain places. And just even Melaleuca was uh, a fantastic oil for calming. So that's awesome to hear. Um, but here's another option for you, Douglas fir. So try that and see how that works. All right. Um, so that's for animals, okay. Uh, the next thing on our list here is for muscle and joints. So, of course, I really like um, any tree oil for muscle and joints. And they all have a different um, chemical balance for um, the muscles and the joints for just um, calming down and um, supporting the, uh, the inflammation uh, response in the body. So we can add wintergreen, uh, cypress, and white fir to this if you want to play around with it. Um, it's really good to play around with the oil. Sometimes one oil doesn't do the job, but if you mix it with another, for some reason, it's great. So I have people tell me like deep blue does nothing for them, but you know white fur was amazing. And I think it was you, Stacey, you had white fur on your shoulders and that did the job for you, right? Yeah. So yeah. You never know, just, you know, have a smell test and then mix it up and, and play around with it. So I like uh, wintergreen um, cypress and white fur. So I introduced um, people to the wintergreen cypress and white fur before um, Douglas fur came along. And, yeah, you know, if I could go back in time, I would add white Douglas fur to that blend. But I've had people, like, um, swear by <laughs> these three oils and, you know, because... Uh, you know, that deep blue didn't do the job for them and this was it. And every time, you know, they have a friend that has, you know, your, the knee problems or, you know, similar problems, they'll have them use the exact same blend. And I'm thinking, yeah, sometimes it works and sometimes it's a different blend for them. But, yeah, um, Douglas fir would be definitely in the same category. So anybody have an experience with um, Douglas fir or any of these oils, wintergreen, cypress and white fir? or um, muscles and joints? Me and my cousin and my sister-in-law have actually made this blend before when you've done the muscle testing and we put it on our shoulders and just instantly you just feel this lift. It's like this weight just lifting off of your shoulders. And it's the most amazing feeling ever. So I highly suggest trying this blend. <laughs> Yay, yeah. Great for knees, great for shoulders, Nick. Excellent. Yeah. Fantastic. Now here's something that you may not think about is cellulite. Um, you know, we, we, some of us may not have this problem, but if we can just, um, an, you know, an ounce of prevention, right? Uh, you can use this in your lotion. Um, so grapefruit and Douglas fir in the lotion. And actually doTERRA has this in their um, maybe body butter, I think it is. Um, 
So it just kind of helps with the circulation. It helps with um, blood flow, um, but it helps with the cellulite buildup too. Very interesting. Anyone want to comment or um, say anything about this? I use that body butter and it's funny because every time I do, I add grapefruit to it. Oh. And I've done that ever since I got it. Isn't that funny? Intuitively, you can do that. <laughs> yeah, that's good. Okay. Um, number six going down here. We have um, daily muscle lotions. Uh, this is for people who have a lot of tension and stiffness. Body, um, I would, you know, make their uh, lotion and um, just uh, use that every single day, just as part of your regimen. Um, so add the Douglas fir to perhaps some of the other oils that we mentioned, the white fir um, and cypress, and just do that on a regular basis, especially on your hands and feet. And so, if you have like, you know, moisturizing lotion, but if you have a I know my auntie. Um, one of them, she can't even make a fist because sometimes her fingers are so stiff. Um, so, you know, carry it with you and just use that. And that's another option for you. Um, we have a question here. Um, is, is it okay that I read this question? Uh, so, Kristen. Yeah, Kristen says uh, she has a lot of allergies, including outdoor allergies. So, she's been afraid to try this one. Uh -huh. So, um, yeah. yeah. Uh, I I think it's um, it's a little bit different with essential oils. I know what you're talking about because I've had doctors tell me I'm allergic to trees, <laughs> um, and you know that's kind of sad because I'm like that's nature. I'm allergic to everything. Um, but uh, when I tried these oils, it wasn't the same um, the, because the oils don't have these proteins in them. Actually, can't be allergic to it. Um, so go ahead and just maybe try a little bit, just smell it and, um, and see how you go. Okay. Awesome. Thank you. My, some people have associations. So sometimes uh -huh. when they smell pine, yeah. they have this association and uh -huh. that causes some other yeah. emotional response in them. And they, yeah. um, but usually it's not the essential oil uh -huh. itself. In fact, it's, you know, yeah. technically you can't have an allergy to essential oil. Sometimes the essential oil is reacting with like proteins in your body or yeah. your skin or your emotional associations with yeah. something. But yeah. okay. you'll find that a lot of times people have a problem with something, but when they try the emotion, the essential oil version of that, yeah, um, it's different. Yeah, I've seen so many people with allergies. Like I had allergies to flowers and, and fruits too. And when I used essential oils, it was a totally different thing. And especially doTERRA oils. Um, so I just wanted to say a few things about allergies just because we're talking about it now. Um, if you can keep your cells clean, so get rid of the toxic load um, over and over, um, if you could do that on a regular basis, then your cells will be more tolerant. Um, so it's when our cells are just loaded with toxins and things that, you know, one little speck of dust or one little pollen can like, tip uh, the scale and cause us to have like an overactive um, response. Uh, so if you can clean out your cells, uh, do a 30 day cleanse a couple of times a year, um, that will really change the, your life. Uh, for me, I had a doctor tell me I had 30 allergies and you know, every time I go, there was another allergy added to that list. And you get a little bit um, just, uh, discouraged because you think, I am broken. <laughs> There's more things that I can't eat and can't do and can't touch. Um, and it's uh, really sad. But uh, I can tell you today, I, I don't know if I have um, very many allergies left, if any, um, because I could do and eat and be around pets and things that uh, I normally couldn't eat um, because I feel like my cells are very clean and um, you know of course things that are toxic to your body your body will tell you that's not good for you anyways 
Um, but basically there's hope for people that say that they have allergies. And stick around for the next um, class because that's what we want to talk about too. Okay. Thank you. So we're moving on to um, some more of the yep. mental or, or spiritual one. So but before we go, um, yep. does anybody have any Thing they want to add um, regarding these um, physical uh, therapeutic benefits of Douglas fir. Anything that you think that should be on this list? Yeah, anything, anything you've experienced that um, we haven't mentioned for the physical body um, with Douglas fir. Debbie Gordon, is there anything that you? Any uses that you have that? I have primarily used Douglas fir for respiratory support and joint support. Uh -huh. So mm -hmm. we've got that on there. Now I have not used it for cellulite lotion, so that's a new one. Yeah. I, I like the body butter. Yeah. Yeah. We have two of those tubs open in the house somewhere. Okay. Well, let's mm -hmm. go on to mine. Yep. All right, to the mind, guys. Um, so uh, this is a three to one ratio, uh, Douglas fir and peppermint. Uh, the reason why we use peppermint is so that we can dry the Douglas fir in deeper. Okay, you, so, you notice peppermint's used in a lot of blends and that's Yeah, why. it's Mr. Driver. <laughs> it just pushes everything in deeper and gets the job done. And a lot of people like peppermint. That's why you get a free peppermint when you read your membership. <laughs> yeah, so put this blend in a diffuser or just dilute it and just rub it on your temples, your forehead, um, just to help with the mental fog. Okay, and it's, it's fantastic that way. Um, Peppermint also helps to keep you alert. Mm -hmm. It does, it does a lot of things to, to get you to the point where you're, you have more mental clarity, um, but we just wanted to keep it simple and tell you it helps with that. And of course, it helps with uh, peace and relaxation. So add um, wild orange or bergamot or lemon or a combination of any of those oils with Douglas fir. And it's one of those happy oils, um, happy oil blends, and it just really will help relaxing. Uh, if you use oils, I would suggest uh, attaching an affirmation with it. So say, I have plenty of wisdom and um, help in my life. So people help you, angels help you, whatever. So that's something that I like to do with um, every oil that I use because and, you know, nothing is just physical. I'm uh, trying to highlight. Just <laughs> you're just playing around with um, it. Yeah, Jade had this blend the, um, the other day of wild orange and Douglas fir. Mm -hmm. So wild orange helps you feel like we have an abundance of stuff and mm -hmm. Douglas fir is kind of a grounding and so it's like more mellows. It's kind of, it was kind of a really unique blend that was kind of mellowing. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mellow is good. Yeah, it's a great oil. This week we've been using Douglas fir a lot. Um, one, because um, I was going to, to teach this class, but um, two, because I, I haven't... Uh, had a really good chance to experience Douglas fir. And um, I have a greater appreciation for this oil now. Um, it's, there's so much to do with a generational healing. And um, as part of, um, <laughs> part of generational healing um, is you feel a little bit stuck when you have a lot of family patterns and you want to get rid of it, but you feel like there's some blockages and somehow it's so difficult to release it. Um, so I would like to share with people that um, with the Douglas fir, it makes it a little bit simpler. Um, not that it's going to be immediate, but it gives you a little bit of hope. Uh, it gives you a bit more peace that um, you don't have to uh, perpetuate some family patterns that you can see, but you really can't get rid of. And you've tried, and it's just still very difficult. So does everybody know what she's talking about by generational blocks? Mm -hmm. get that? Okay. Yep. So there's things, there's patterns in your life that sometimes you're unconsciously carrying. You, you know it's there. 
So you perhaps if you are working really hard and you getting successful, but you know you you always jeopardize yourself or self sabotage right at the end for some reason, and um, it's kind of frustrating. And so there's just something blocking you. Sometimes you know exactly how to um, execute your plans, but you just can't get around to it. So things like that. Um, that's like there's something there generationally. Um, so I would use this oil and uh, create some powerful affirmations. Um, so I gave you some on the website here because we don't have enough room on the <laughs> handout. So we can so share this some... then. Mm -hmm. So let's okay. go ahead and share this one. Okay. Can yes. everybody see that? So she's got some affirmations here. Yep. So I'll just read it with you. Um, the first one is, I move forward successfully. I release the fear of making the same past mistakes. So I learn from my mistakes. Because sometimes people say, well, I want to do this, Jade, or, um, but every time I get into something, I never stick with it. And, you know, it's fearing that what you've done in the past is going to be repeated again. Um, so here, Douglas first says, no, the future's different. We're going to plow forward. Um, number two is I am a chain breaker um, and I release the need to repeat the same mistakes. My ancestor all, ancestors are all behind me on this journey forward. Um, the, the other thing too is there's a lot of cultural thing that, things that we carry and then we feel like it's a part of us. Sometimes we can see it, sometimes we can't see it. Um, so like my husband and I are uh, we, we did Easter differently this year. We didn't put as much effort into things. We didn't even have the Easter bunny. Um, but a lot, a lot of times we're thinking about it and we're thinking, it's just culture, you know, and I, I, you just feel like, oh, I feel so bad that we're, we're changing stuff around. But then at the, at the same time you think, nah, no, nah, we'll, we'll do it differently here on out. We, we don't need to perpetuate, you know, sugar and other things into our kids' Easter. They really should focus on this and, it's tricky because you're going against the grain a little bit. Um, but then with the white fur, it can help you go, that's all right. It'll be great. <laughs> we can start something new here. Um, yeah, without worrying about uh, some repercussions. I mean, it's a silly example, but, um, you know, it's there's little things in your life that you might see uh, that you think, oh, I wish I could change that. Um, yeah. So number three here is I confidently move forward with all the wisdom of the past and I learn from ancestors and my own experience. Oh yeah, I'm going to go to the store later. So with, um, you know, without worrying that you're going to make those um, silly mistakes or thinking uh, and regretting your old mistakes. Um, so with Douglas Fir, it helps you feel like, don't worry, that was good. I learned from it and I can see the good in that. Um, you know, instead of beating yourself up and, and saying, look, I messed up so many times um, and I, I'm so worried that I'm going to mess up again. I've never done anything big and, and um, great before um, and this is a new ground for me. So that um, Douglas Fir helps you kind of move forward and past that, okay, so you can be in new ground. And that's why I like the young, um, the... Um, other oils can be from mature trees, but Douglas fir is like from a young tree, and there's something about it. It's uh, something new and um, uh, you know, useful about it. Okay. And number four is I breathe. I freely breathe in the joy of life as I embrace future adventures. And we talked about a lot of uh, respiratory concerns here. I don't want to say names of diseases. Um, and you, you know the diseases linked to respiratory concerns, um, but all those diseases have that underlying fear of, um, you know, I'm not able to fully <sighs> breathe in the air of life and move forward. And here, Douglas Fir added to that respiratory blend will help them feel like I can let go of past junk and just move forward. Um, and that's why it's important to have Douglas fir in some of these blends because of that um, emotional and spiritual side of it. Yeah. yeah. So I, I think it's a fantastic idea when you're when you're working with um, 
affirmations because affirmations are just some true statement that you're teaching to yourself to rewrite your scripts to rewrite your beliefs because essential oils um they work with your olfactory senses which are in that same part of your brain where your memories are and where your emotions are and so if you're smelling the essential oil you're creating a new association you're creating a new memory you're giving more power to that memory that you're creating and you're you're able to you know rewrite this belief structure so I like what Ben does uh, with his affirmations. Um, he takes it a step further, of course, being the very intelligent husband. Um, he records himself with music in the background so he can listen to it and um, sort of like a subliminal message that he's sending to himself. Because we do, once we um, get into the groove of things, sometimes we, we have these negative thoughts and the voices come up and, you know, causes us to doubt and causes us to beat ourselves up a little bit and here why not why not just um, help ourselves think these positive thoughts and um, and force yourself to not think about those um, old things junk garbage that you, you used to think anyone with the, any, any anyone with questions about releasing yeah. generational blocks that was fantastic you two I love those affirmations I just wanted to, as, as we were talking here, and you were talking about what to mix the oils with, I'm going to come back to Kristen for a minute. When the oils smell more earthy, more herbaceous, so to speak, adding a little bit of, of sweetness, a little bit of peppermint, a little bit of citrus makes it that much more magnificent. And with allergies, what better way to use Douglas fir and to add a drop of peppermint and a drop of lemon or something to that effect. So... Um, I love that you put those blends in there, but this generational blocks is fantastic. Thank you. Thank you. It's thank you. very difficult, isn't it? Um, uh, at times when you look at everybody and you say, that's just happened so many times. I had one lady, she said, Jade, it's five generations. Can you see that? My mom, me, my, my daughter, my granddaughter, it's the same thing. She's like, ah, how do we stop that? And we feel like uh, defeated. But here, this little young tree it really gives us that hope that no we can get over this we can we really can and the last thing i'm, I'm, I'm doing it flip-flop because i wrote it flip-flop on my website is freeing others and this is so important for us women and mothers um, because what we tend to do and we're so used to it is carry other people's burdens mom i've got this problem so they bring their problems to you dump it down there in front of you and say you fix it and we get so used to it because ever since they were little, we've done that. And uh, or, or sometimes the moms just take it on themselves. Oh, like, oh you're, you're in pain. Let me take all that. <laughs> yeah, it's easy enough on. to do. Um, but what we have to learn with the help of Douglas Fir is to um, allow people, especially our children and even our husbands, to own their problem and um, trust that God and the universe will help them figure it out like he has done for us. He helped us figure it out when we had nobody to, to lean on sometimes. We just had to do it. Sorry, can I close the door? Oh. We've got lots of planes flying around here. We live near it. Yeah. So you can see just smelling um, the Douglas fir with an affirmation like, I have wisdom to guide and let others discover their own power because otherwise they'll never figure out their power. Um, and they go out into the world unprepared um, and not uh, owning their power. And they give away their power because they, they blame. They'll say, well, you didn't help so-and-so. What this situation is because of all these things, that's giving our power away. Whenever we blame, we give our power away. And we need that power to change. Okay, if we don't have that power, we can't make these changes. Um, so I trust that they will learn from the past and move forward with confidence. A lot of times um, parents and in, you know, our ancestors, my parents do the same things too, where they quickly try to punish um, and say, look, this is the consequence, this is your punishment, because they're so afraid we're going to make those same mistakes again. But if you're really hurt, you know, or you're really suffering for, from this one mistake, then um, you, you will not do it again. But what happens is we're so afraid of making the same mistakes, we make it again and again and again. And so it's... Um, really difficult to move forward and sort of look like that's that's not good 
but I trust that you're going to do better next time. That's so much better uh, approach than just being so freaked out that, oh, you're going to mess up. You're really going to mess up. So I'll share with you a story. Um, one day my, my daughter, she was, she was not paying attention. So in my dad's eyes, that was disrespectful. Um, so she was reading and everyone's talking to her and then she's like, what, huh? You know, and he's like, well, she wasn't present. And he said, you should really tell her off. And I said, dad, I, I'm going to tell her what was wrong, but I think it's okay. She's allowed to make mistakes under my roof. You know, instead of punishing every time she turns around and does something wrong. Okay. We will naturally do that. We naturally do that now as an adult, we, we tell ourselves off the way we were told off. Um, because we've been trained that way. And how has that helped you move forward faster? It's actually stagnated us. It's actually pulled us back and held us back more than it has to encourage us to move forward. Okay, so we, uh, um, we, st we stay stagnant from fear and we're not pulled forward because of faith and love. Uh, so we want to change that a little bit, change culture, so this is what we want to do with our children and with the future, okay? <laughs> so that just feels very important, guys. Um, this is what I've learned this week from it um, because it says, look, guys, yes, you know, the past is great, lots of knowledge, lots of wisdom there, but we can take that and add to it and move forward a little bit. So we can do a lot uh, better with uh, more encouraging, more love, um, and, you know, Natural consequences will happen anyways, um, whether we like it or not. Our children will suffer from their, their uh, choices, but the thing is we don't have to add to it, and um, our job is to love them. And, and that's, that's what I learned um, a little bit more this week, just by using it and saying, tell me more about you. What are you capable of? And so uh, Douglas fir is, is that kind of oil for me. So um, you would... The, the blend, um, uh -huh. the way you would use it for this purpose. Yep. Uh, yep. You can ask um, to uh, rub white it fur. in white fur mm -hmm. on the areas um, such as the shoulders and back. Because mm -hmm. when people are taking on burdens that mm -hmm. they really shouldn't be taking on, they're other yep. people's burdens, their shoulders get very yeah. sore and then they have to have someone massage them. <laughs> <laughs> so much better than I used to be. <laughs> it's a tense neck and shoulders and it's sort of like not letting them do it. Um, so there yeah. you go. That, that's how you would apply that for <laughs> that um, that purpose. Yeah. So if you and find you that you're know. taking on other people, yeah, you know how well you're doing by the state of your shoulders <laughs> and your knees. <laughs> Anybody can, have any questions with that? Yeah, I can say that the last two top, the last two areas that we went over was the generational, and with the freeing others. I practice, I worked with that. Jade like helped me. And, you know, one was easy to see because everybody knew that my mom was an overthinker. I became an overthinker and my daughter is a huge overthinker. So, I mean, months and months ago, Jade was like, well, this is generational. You need to like work on this. And we have not totally overcome it, but we have come so far from where we are. And with me, it's not so much I really don't see it happen as often anymore. I've learned to just like see it for what it is and say, okay, well, it's not going to be that big of a deal. You know, um, what can we do about this? Or, you know, oh, well, you know, I mean, I, t and so I'm waiting for that to, you know, happen with my daughter. She's getting better on it. And then with the freeing others, um, I was talking to Jay a while back and I was, the same thing with my son, like worried about him and his school and, you know, his work and being sad, working at home, being homeschooled and stuff. And she said, well, one, you're not responsible to make him happy. And two, he can do all this, you know? And so I was like, okay, okay. And he's been using the oils like a lot. And he noticed that like last week or whatever, he didn't use them as much and his productivity kind of went down. And so I kind of pulled him aside like on Easter and said, well, you know, just which ones did you use that really helped motivate you? Which ones? And he kind of came and was like, I'm just feeling so down and I don't even know why my friends can't cheer me up. And I just, I just had to come tell you. So I said, well, look, 
I kind of noticed you weren't going and grabbing the oils like you were. So which one lift, lifted you up? Do that now. And which ones helped you focus and just get motivated? And he was like, okay. I said, and then just put together your own plan of what you can tackle with school and get caught up. And then he came and he, he he's like, well, I've been, I said, what are you doing? And he's like, well, I've been working for, I don't know how long. So I needed to take a break. I said, Oh, what did you work on? And this was yesterday. He's like, well, I got up, caught up with PE and I got caught up with my photography. And then today he's like, well, I was working on my history so I could get caught up and tomorrow I'm doing science and I'm doing math this whole week. I'll be caught up. And I was like, so he came up with it on his own and I didn't take it on me and stressed out and everything. And it made him feel good too because he just did it and I didn't worry. And he kept on saying, mom, you don't have to let, you don't have to worry. Just stop worrying about me because I'll either do horrible and I'll fix it or I'll learn how to not let it go so far, you know? And um, so Jay was like, just keep on y'all. Y'all just keep using this oil and you know, it's going to help. And so like I was thinking on Easter, like how far I could see that, one, how I can see how much it affects my kids. Because sometimes you see it on others more than you do yourself. But then um, I don't have the stress in my neck because I'm not bearing their problem anymore. And, like, you know, it's just so much easier. Life is easier because we're freed from that burden, you know. And I know, like, it was hard because I'm a mom and, like, I want to help them. But I empowered them by not trying to fix it. And just letting them do it and that way we both feel better because it's an accomplishment on both ends you know so i don't know those two things i just really went through <laughs> awesome thank you for sharing that because you know what it doesn't mean you love them less right. not letting us go and doing our thing he loves us less it's just like i know you'll figure it out if you can trust me and you know, let me fall on my face a few times, then I, I can do that for my kids, right? <laughs> it's, it's become, oh, no, don't do that, you'll get hurt. And you're more concerned for their overall welfare than the what they think about you. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. you're not concerned about, oh, do they love me? Can they see my love through me taking on their burdens and everything? And sometimes if you take their burdens on them, you'll feel underappreciated and they'll get the message that they can't do they're that. not good enough. Yeah. They yeah. can't do it themselves. Someone else has to do it. Yeah. So that, you know, you, you feel like you're trying to help them or you're trying to love them, but you're actually sending them a bad message and you're feeling unappreciated because you're doing these things for them. And yeah. yeah. Oh, that was fur. Hey. <laughs> yeah. Any other comments on? Freeing others. Anybody else use Douglas fir in this way? I have a I have a comment. Um, this I think essential oils are really good to set the mood. If you're having a party, you might have you know all the all the snacks and and the uh, odors and what the meal planned out. You might have everything cleaned up and, you know, decorations and everything. Um, but also, uh, some, you know, the lighting, maybe just the lighting to set the mood and everything. But also the smell, the, the smell of the environment helps set the mood as well. And Douglas firs, you know, Douglas fir, wild orange will, you know, if you invite a lot of people over and they smell that in, it seems to be a kind of a blend that will help connect people and help people um you know feel uplifted and feel like they have time wild oranges and oil that you know as people feel like they have an abundance of time and so they don't feel like they're to rush through and get through and that was for just um one of the things that reminds me of is christmas trees <laughs> and so it's amazing it would be amazing oil to use like a you know christmas or thanksgiving or something like that when you sprinkle some on your um you know decorations stuff like that yeah that's awesome uh, i really appreciate douglas fir it comes in this little, tiny five mil bottle i don't know why <laughs> okay <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah because there's a christmas tree in there <laughs> otherwise it'd be three that, christmas trees that's right? why <laughs> <laughs> yeah all right, well that pretty much covers Douglas Fir. Um, anybody, and you can always come to jadebalden.com, Douglas Fir, 
there's a space because it's two words, so you just put a hyphen there. Um, and you can download um, that uh, PDF that Jade's made there. Um, you can also put comments in here. If you, if you have anything you want to add that you know, we haven't said here, feel free to come back and put this comment and say, um, you know, I forgot to mention this, but I, I used it on my cat and now my cat has <laughs> 10 lives instead of nine. I don't know. <laughs> So, yeah. Okay. Um, thank you, everybody, for um, contributing to Douglas. For anything else, anybody wants to add to that? I just want to say that every time we do this oil spotlight, I find myself using that oil more and benefiting greatly. <laughs> so I also appreciate your research and gathering of information. This is beautiful. Thank you, Debbie. That's fantastic. It's good for us too. <laughs> and knowledge is growing, and growing. <laughs> Yeah, I, I think, uh, you know, a lot of people had asked about this for a long time. Um, you know, I'd like to learn more about essential oils. That's one of the emotions that we feel, you know, in, in the introductory class was, oh, there's so much. There's so much, you know, you can learn and do and everything. And now here's a way, you know, you can go on to the doTERRA.com, but there's real, they're kind of limited coming from the corporation. They're limited at what they can say. The claims they make are they, there, there's a heightened sense of, um, you know, conserva conservative take that they, um, and they don't go into anything emotional um, on the claims. They just say sometimes uplift your mood or anything like that. But um, these extra things that Jade's put on, you know, with generational healing and the stories that we have to share with each other, stories really tell, you know, the facts, you know, the fact that this is made in New Zealand, that's great. <laughs> but is that going to help? <laughs> resolve whatever you know I have I feel um, uh, when I first came to the States years ago I felt a great burden just leaving my family being the oldest daughter I mean I had my mum and dad to take care of my my siblings and I had such a great burden to uh, that I carried and I just felt so guilty leaving them. the oldest child syndrome <laughs> it's, it's the Vietnamese too and um, it, I've been changed by these oils because now you know, I, I'm here and I don't feel um, guilty being away from my family. Somehow I feel confident and I let God and let angels take care of them, knowing that they, they know I love them still just because I'm far away. And it really is just um, very liberating. And, and so I really appreciate this, um, you know, having the chance to use essential oils, especially white fur, especially Douglas fur, because it just changes things for me um, and it doesn't hold you back from um, going out and, and chasing after your dreams because you feel so restricted at home with the children or with your parents or whatever so it's it's that was for me uh, a really liberating oil and it makes her smell nice yes. <laughs> <laughs> thank yeah. you everybody so much we're going to start our next class in a, in a few minutes i'm going to go ahead and stop the recording unless there's anything else anybody wants to share all right.